Barry, we get the phone. <laughs> Look what we found. We took this out of a renovation job. I may give it back to him. I don't know. <laughs> in, the, in the construction business, it's kind of an unwritten law. Well, in contracts, it, it is a written law that the contractor gets to keep what he tears out of a building, right? Unless it's specifically designated on, in the contract that the owner gets to keep it. So anyway, we run across little trinkets every now and then. This is an old school smoke detector. Well, it's actually a heat detector. I don't believe this is a smoke detector, Barrett. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I haven't even looked this up yet, but there is the back plate on it. We'll look it up. I should have read this before I... To reset thermostat, allow to cool, push center button. Oh my gosh, It's re you can reset it. Huh. Holy cow. So the way this worked is it would be mounted on the wall and you would literally use this lever to crank it. It may not be, uh, it, yeah, it's already wound tight, but you wind it up and then it's, you know, Uh, it's really awesome. I mean, and this thing probably weighs, oh my God, it's heavy, isn't it, Barrett? So it's kind of, it's probably got a big old coil uh, spring. I mean, it's probably, it's just seven or eight pounds. I mean, literally, I'll, I should wait. Maybe we'll do another video on this. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Um, Barrett, you want to show them your beanie you got for Christmas? <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> this is a when I, I got a little stocking stuff where I got Barrett. It's a beanie. It's a Bluetooth beanie. Speakers in both sides. It, it's got speakers in both sides. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's stereo. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it sounds good. And um, I just thought that was cool. Now I'll never, t I'll never be able to talk to him again. Cause, <laughs> oh, and I got this mount right here. Let's show it. So there it is, which is pretty cool. And it seems to be a pretty decent quality. This is a lot safer, obviously, than what I used to do. I used to hold my, I used to hold my camera. You're pretty good at it. <laughs> I could drive and hold the camera at the same time, but it was annoying because it would make noise. Just that little tapping noise. Yeah. Was it like amplified crazily, crazily. You like this camera angle better, better Barrett? Sure, yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be less in the way that it felt like it was like right in my face right here. Yeah, awkward. So anyway, if you won something or if you paid for something during the Cricket fundraiser and you haven't sent me your address, then I don't know. I can't send it to you. During the registration process, well, there was no registration process. I was trying to make it easy uh, for the fundraiser for people just to donate without even having to register on the website So I didn't ask for people's addresses. Yeah, because right? there was like 60 people that registered So I said, okay, well, we'll just narrow it down to the people who win have to give their addresses, right? Mm-hmm. Well, so Russell hasn't sent me his address and then the other people who paid for cards of decks of cards and then there were some patches and other stuff that people bought as a part of their donation, it was a give back, haven't sent me their addresses. So it may, it, there may be a possibility because I ended up changing to a dedicated server from this VPS, which I was getting crappy service. You don't know how nervous I was during the Cricket fundraiser, Barrett, that it was the website was just gonna crash, but it never did. It actually crashed a few times while I was loading that, that uh, crowdsource funding oh yeah uh, yeah when oh. i was testing it and i just knew the whole time that it was going to crash but anyway it didn't and we had a to me it was a successful fundraiser for sure and it was fun and but now i'm trying to clear it out and we've already donated the money but um uh, the, the way i can clear this out now is to get all the prizes shipped out so send me uh, your address, your shipping address to Tony at artisantony.com and we'll get them out. Sounds good. So, 
I like it. I like the camera mount. And since we don't have a, uh, since you don't have your guitar, we'll play Jingle Bells with the bell. <laughs> Oh, what fun it is to Oh, well. That's annoying, you know. <laughs>